Good evening and welcome to the Mark Crew Show. We're having a Mark Crew Show here tonight at the Texas Roadhouse Grill, a great place, family fun and food. They've given us an appetizer night, the boneless buffalo wings here at Texas Roadhouse Grill. Tonight we're going to go over the uh, Mill Creek game, Coach. All right, game two. Uh, after after the Walton game, we, we uh, play uh, another Gwinnett County team uh, from Region 7, which is basically the other half of our county, I suppose. And uh, it's great to be able to play a crossover game against uh, Region 7 uh, because, you know, obviously there's some Gwinnett County interest and, and uh, you know, we went for a couple of years where we had to go to Valdosta or, right. or, or down to uh, East Coweta or some of those places and and uh, it's really it's really great to kind of keep the competition within Gwinnett County and, um, you know, we played Collins Hill uh, for a couple of years in a row there and, and we picked up Mill Creek as our, as our other out of region game and and uh, turned out to be a, a really good game, good competition. I imagine those games that we play against Gwinnett County teams <laughs> over in Region Seven probably are also better. We don't have to leave school at one in the afternoon or or twelve noon to go on a hundred mile trip to get ready for a ball game. It's close. It's not that big a big a problem logistically in getting a team to the site. Right. You know, I, I think that's something that's that's sort of unique to the metro area teams that we don't probably experience some of the things that. Uh, some of the South Georgia schools and, and maybe some of the North Georgia more rural schools, uh, you know, we think a trip to go play a game is, is you know, maybe 40 minutes or right. 50 minutes or whatever, and, and that's with traffic. And, and uh, some of those guys get on the bus at Camden County and, you know, ride for three hours and play and, and uh, get back home at 1230 or 1 o'clock in the morning. So, uh, you know, I guess I guess every place has its has its problems, but traveling is not one of ours. Exactly. Well, let's get into the first half highlights, coach, and see if this uh, Mill Creek game. All right. Uh, again, uh, Josh Brown uh, is uh, in the backfield with Jamal, uh, and uh, Jamal uh, had some uh, uh, injury problems. I guess he was he was uh, kind of in and out a little bit, and. Uh, you know, Josh Brown came in and and uh, kind of got pressed into service. There's a little dump screen to uh, Jamal, pick up about 10 yards. Uh, there's uh, Josh Brown uh, in the flat and uh, does does an outstanding job there. And then Brandon Morrow uh, comes in and puts us ahead by three uh, with his uh, with his third field goal of the year. Uh, Brandon is uh, becoming kind of a sure shot there. Uh, as a field goal kicker and doing an outstanding job along with uh, Joey McLean and uh, Travis Farmer, the snapper and, uh, and the holder. Uh, the uh, uh, defense stiffens a little bit and Kyron Priester fields the ball kind of in a crowd right there and just does an outstanding job of, of uh, gaining uh, speed and, and outrunning the, uh, the guys that were closing on him and makes the score 10 to nothing. And uh, our defense, uh, once again, is struggling against the run a little bit here early in the game. And uh, the, uh, the uh, Mill Creek offense, they've got a, they've got a, a pretty good running back. Um, not, not the kind of running back that we faced against Walton. But, um, you know, as I tell our players lots of times, Tom, you, the guys that we play uh, every week, you're going to have – you're going to have good players. You're going to have play against good, well-coached football teams, and you know everybody sort of treats it as it's a as it's a cliche. But you know every every week in Gwinnett County, there's uh, no gimmies. You're, you're playing against good people, people that are that are well-coached and well-schooled, and have big schools where there's where there's a number of players. Uh, there's Mitch Hotop. I uh, mentioned him uh, in the Walton game, and Mitch comes in and. Does a great job of punting the ball down to the down to the one yard line, kind of little uh, uh, rugby style kick. Uh, same play we struggled with in the dome a little bit against Walton. We we got to work a little bit harder on on the uh, safety or the linebacker, or whatever the coverage is at that particular time of uh, handling the handling the bootleg passes. Well, at the end of one quarter, it's Brookwood ten, Mill Creek nothing. Let's go on to the second quarter, Coach, right, for the highlight. Go on to the second quarter, and, you know, we came out and drove the ball right down the field and scored and got a field goal and then came back and and uh, Kyron uh, returned the punt for a touchdown and looked like we might sort of take off here a little bit. And then uh, here they come 
storming back down the field. But Liam Trainer made just such an outstanding play right there, uh, caused the fumble at the one-yard line, and then recovered the fumble. And uh, I, I was mentioning earlier, Josh came in and kind of got pressed into service and uh, did an outstanding job as our tailback uh, while Jamal was uh, kind of nursing an injury a little bit, twisted his knee early in the game. And, uh, you know, Josh, when given an opportunity, came in and, and rushed for almost 250 yards, um, 25 carries for 243 yards and, and uh, averaged just shy, of, uh, just shy of 10 yards a carry. Uh, and uh, so, you know, obviously – I think Jamal better get well right quick. There you, you go. Know, he, he didn't stay out very long because that other guy's in there doing an outstanding job. And I got to mention too that that uh, Josh Moore, uh, the uh, the backup uh, fullback, uh, stepped up and just did an outstanding job in in terms of uh, being pressed into service. You know, he he's the backup fullback. So uh, when Josh uh, had to go to uh, tailback, uh, Josh was prepared and and ready and. Jumped in there and just did an outstanding job of taking up the slack uh, at fullback. The, uh, the, uh, the the pass there was to uh, was to Kyron and come in and there's Mitch with a with another great punt. Uh, that's one of the advantages of that rugby style kick. You kind of kick it sideways and the ball hits on the nose and if they don't field it, which it's hard to do because of the direction of the ball, uh, you got a chance to get a great roll get out of roll, that thing. Yeah. And uh, so we, we started doing that a little bit last year, and, and it's really sort of paid off for us in terms of, uh, of getting some really big punts. We don't do a very good job here of, of uh, handling the uh, tunnel screen, but um, the uh, uh, Garrett Reynolds and uh, Colin Cotter uh, saved the touchdown there. And, and once again, once again, we're down there sort of fighting for our lives. Afalabi Laguda uh, makes a big play there uh, on the – on the edge and uh, holds them uh, to a field goal attempt uh, right there at the end and and uh, kind of save the lead. Well, there you go. Well, at the halftime score was Brookwood 10, Mill Creek 7, and after a quick break, we'll be back to go over the second half coach of the Mill Creek-Brookwood game. Looking forward to it. Welcome back for the second half of the Mill Creek Brookwood game, Coach. Uh, I'm sure we're we, uh, looking forward to getting the second half and seeing what the highlights were. All right, let's get to it. Uh, we kick off them in the second half, and uh, we, uh, we we need to go out there and do a great job of uh, of getting them stopped and uh, getting getting them off the field. You know, we miss a tackle there in the backfield and give up a three or four yard gain, and uh, once again we're we're, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're not doing a, a good enough job of, of uh, closing on the hole and, and maintaining our, our gap control. We got some, uh, you know, we talk, this, this is our second game. We talk about uh, gap control and, and making sure that we play on the, on the proper side of our blockers and, and uh, getting people around the football. And, um, you know, we, we got some guys out there that are uh, sort of running around a little bit. We get a big hit there by uh, Tyler Evans and pops the ball up in there and it lands right back in their lap. So um, uh, just like just like in the Walton game, as we, we're not giving up anything easily. We're we're out there hustling and and uh, really working hard to try to to try to get around the football and and uh, you know learn as we go. Uh, here's Josh Brown carrying the ball on the on the toss sweep. Gets the ball out to uh, gets the ball out to midfield. Come back and run the stretch play and we're back down. Uh, inside the 40-yard line. And those guys up front are doing a heck of a job uh, blocking. There's Adam Ledford and, and uh, uh, Eric Rawls, uh, Jared Monday, uh, Joe Kelly, and uh, Tyler Evans, along with our tight end, Keenan Sweeney. Uh, those guys up front are doing a good job, and, and, you know, those running backs don't gain all that yardage uh, all by themselves. Somebody's they got, got to open they, a hole up there. they got those guys up there that are working hard in the trenches and, and we do a pretty good job of closing on the ball, but not a very good job of tackling. We gotta, we gotta get there and wrap him up. Um, we got uh, again a, a a deep ball uh, that's uh, I believe that's Kevin Knight that's playing uh, on the edge out there and uh, did a good job on the deep ball. Um, but again, their their offense is 
is moving the ball. Missed another tackle in the, in the backfield there, and um, what should have been uh, probably a two-yard loss turns into a, uh, into a, in, into a big game for the quarterback. Uh, missed another tackle there. Should have been a, should have been a, uh, a one-yard gain that turns into a nine or ten-yard gain. And uh, they come back and run the stretch play, and we don't do a very good job of supporting uh, out of the secondary. And all of a sudden, we start out in a 10 to nothing ball game and, and drive it and return a punt, and looks like we might kind of break it open, and now we're sort of fighting for our lives. So uh, we, need to, uh, we need to control the ball on, uh, on offense. And uh, big play here by Joey uh, McLean and uh, Josh Moore. Uh, excuse me, uh, uh, Josh Brown to turn kind of a disaster into a big play and and uh, that, that third down play uh, where Joey picked the ball up off the ground after kind of a low snap and got it out there to Josh for the first down was, was um, probably uh, in looking back, you got to say if there's, if there's a play that changes the, the game, certainly if we'd have had to punt right there, it would have been a different ball game. And then uh, Jamal Cole, as he's done, uh, several times before, kind of comes back uh, later in the game and and uh, just sort of takes over the game. And um, he and he and Josh did such an outstanding job. Josh, I think I said earlier, had almost 250 yards rushing, and Jamal had another 75 or 80. And and uh, those two guys together are really uh, doing an outstanding job of carrying the football behind those guys that are that are out there doing the blocking for them. Um, now we got another uh, another breakdown on play in the option, and and um, uh, that that comes with experience a little bit. That's Chris Dancy out there making a great play on the on the uh, ball in the flat. Comes the bootleg again, and and uh, just over our fingertips. And you had pressure on him, coach. Had good pressure on him. him. The quarterback had to get up in the air, and then um, they got the ball down down uh, closer, trying to uh, drive late in the game, and. And our defense is, uh, we did just a great job on the reverse uh, to back them up and, and uh, end up taking the ball over, uh, getting those guys off the field. Um, <clears throat> Josh Brown on the uh, quick pitch, uh, along with the uh, face mask penalty, and, and just look at Josh run through tackles right there. And, and, uh, and uh, as we're... We're doing a good job here of moving them off the line of scrimmage and He's keeping those legs driving. Yeah, too, you coach. know we, we say that we're struggling a little bit on defense, but the guys we're playing against are struggling a little bit on defense too because you know we're we got Josh and and uh, Josh Moore's in there now playing fullback and and uh, Josh is uh, is doing an outstanding job. Here comes Josh on the on the sweep to the uh, to the quick side, and then Jamal comes in and and. Uh, Brandon kind of puts the icing on the cake there, I guess, um, to uh, to begin to kind of finish up the game. And playing prevent defense now. To all we got to do is is keep the ball in front of us and make sure that we don't um, give up a, a, a deep ball and then uh, kind of need to knock that ball down, not not tip it up in the air right there. But well, being down at halftime, we came back and ended up winning this game, 31 to 21, which was an exciting game for Brooklyn. Now we're back to one and one. And after a quick break, Coach will come back and go over the players of the game. We'll be there. Well, welcome back to the Mark Cruz Show. We've just gone over the highlights of the Mill Creek game, a 31-21 Brookwood victory. And, Coach, it's time to go over the players of the game. My pleasure. We got um, uh, a guy who stepped up and did an outstanding job when, when uh, he got his chance to carry the football. Josh Brown uh, carried the ball, uh, I think, 25 times for 243 yards, which is just shy of 10 yards a carry. Um, and uh, they just did an outstanding job in, in lots of respects for the, for the football game. Josh Brown's our offensive player. Uh, Liam Trainer, uh, a, a senior linebacker, uh, is our defensive player of the week. Liam had uh, nine tackles and three assists, I believe it was. Our special teams player, we saw that we got off several just outstanding punts. Uh, so our punter, Mitch Hotop, 
a second year guy uh, came to us from the uh, soccer team last year as a junior and uh, is really kind of coming into his own a little bit we're looking forward to big things from from uh, Mitch uh, our goal team player this week is a senior defensive back wide receiver Carson Aprisco Carson uh, does an outstanding job for us every day at practice and and uh, we appreciate his effort uh, off of lobby Laguda is our uh, is a defensive back a senior you saw um, made a great play down there on the goal line and and uh, uh, stopped them short of the of the end zone there at the two yard line uh, so off of lobby Laguda is our is our 100 percent player for the week and uh, we're proud of all these guys and their effort well we're proud of everybody on the team especially the most valuable players that we have for the week and again in the final score of the uh, Mill Creek game was Brookwood 31 Mill Creek 21 so we're back to one and one and uh, next week we got Archer coming in and we hope you'll be back for us next week for the Mark Cruz shows Thanks again for being there, and we'll see you next week.